happened tonight, Miss Molly? Well, tonight's episode was written by our friend Angela Harvey. Check out our, uh, Inter- our videos that we did. We did an interview with her. Sort of. From the set. An interview. From the set. From the set. It was a lot like uh, Memento. Uh-huh. Which had, is a little movie by Christopher Nolan. Had some twists and turns and some flashbacks and some, some not so... Going from the flashbacks. back to the front to the middle and in between. And... All those things. Scott, I'm just gonna thread this needle and then everything will be okay because I'll fill you up and you should probably have your shirt off, but then we'll worry about that later. Do it, Allison! Do it! Mom, I'm trying, trying to do it, but you need to stop yelling at me in your ghost lady but, form. But, I mean, I'm really, I love you and I believe in you! I'm trying. Give me a second. Why won't somebody help me? This is the only way I know how to encourage you is by being mean! Well, it's a good thing you're a great actress. Thank you. They're on a uh, they're on a field trip or something. Cross country trip. Whatever. To for cross lacrosse. country meet. Because when it's not lacrosse season, it's track, track, track. Time. Are there other sports in Beacon Hills? What are sports? So rebuilding their infrastructure. <laughs> yeah, oh, I love how Beacon Hills is full of of destroyed malls and horrifying construction projects. And you they know, really uh, need a new city planner. Uh, <laughs> Scott is like got scratches on his on his body because they fought some alphas. They fought some alphas, and and Derek is dead. Maybe he's dead. Sort of. Oh my God, he's dead. Until until he shows up at the end of the episode to to improve our understanding of the young beautiful English teacher. What's yes. her name? Yeah. <laughs> what and, is her name? <laughs> Can I call her Cynthia? She's gonna be dead soon. La la la, I'm walking back to my car. I'm so happy and shiny. I spent the day sculpting young minds and everything was completely normal. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, I didn't... I need to check my voicemail! Oh. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Beep. Oh, you've reached Jericho. Leave me a message, or whatever. Hi Derek, uh, I don't know why I'm doing this. I do not want to encourage the 3 a.m. phone calls, but it's been like two days since I've heard from you. I'm a little worried. I haven't seen my son. Did you know that Isaac was living at my house? Uh, anyway, call me back at a re- reasonable hour. Uh, Allison and Lydia are going to the cross country meet also They're because behind. because Allison is all freaked out about Scotty because during the werewolf fight she saw his eyes turn red and that's totally alpha business. Imagine a wheel here. <laughs> so, Allison, uh, why are we driving uh, behind this behind this bus? Not conspicuously. I'm not stalking my ex-boyfriend. I totally believe you. I am an excellent liar. Anyway, uh, all the things, all the fighting and all the it was a great ninjas. Episode. And, and Dustin kept looking at his computer during that last fight sequence, which was amazing. And it had this um, this really cool Scott transformation where it was I like almost that. like stop motion. It was beautiful. I saw it. I saw he it. He didn't see it the way I saw when it. When you see one girl fight a dude with her toenails, no, you've seen them all. No, this was exceptional. This is a it great, was great episode. Yeah. Uh, yes. Also, Orny Adams was in it, and he was Yeah! Screaming. I love him. He really him. got to shine I in this episode. Him. He did. He got to shine. And the walk-on role, oh, I can't think of your name Warren. Right now. Something. Henry. Darren. Ed. Anyway, walk-on role winner, you were fantastic. Yes. Until next time. I'm Molly. I'm Dustin. This has been... We're used for humans. Hi, Alyssa. She's a fan. Yep. Nope. Nope. Nope, two handsome.